Greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm just doing a short video showcasing the results of some frost protection steps that I took with the plants here in my raised bed. So recently Winter Storm Elliot brought some really cold temperatures to Austin. It's about 13 degrees at my place. And for example, this is some purslane here, which was doing well before the freeze. That was really the first deep freeze that Austin had. And after spending several days at temperatures in the teens and 20s, most of the weeds and frost, uh, low frost tolerant plants have all died off. I have this raised bed with a bunch of plants in it that I put comforters on before the deep freeze and used commercial grade string lights to provide some warmth. I accidentally left them uncovered last night and it got down to be about 29 degrees. So that withered plant there in the back, that's an eggplant. It actually took most of its damage last night. And um, most everything else here in, in the bed has stood up pretty well. The green onions are a little smashed from the blanket, but they're doing okay. I had to use bricks to weigh the blanket down because of the wind. So those are a little damaged. The parsley's looking okay. Our single cabbage is still hanging out. And then um, our carrot seeds are doing all right, but it looks like some fire ants have moved into the bed. I'm gonna have to put some orange oil on that because we've got rain and more warm temperatures coming up. And I do honestly prefer fire ants to spider mites, but they're still a nuisance. I left the tomatoes and my fig tree uncovered. So just to show how extreme some of the frost damage can be without covering, these beefsteak tomatoes were actually doing okay. They're fairly green. This one had probably already split open at the time that uh, the freeze came, but now obviously they're just necrotic and gelatinous and really, really gross. And tomatoes are obviously not frost tolerant at all. So during a deep freeze, this is the kind of thing you'd expect. I'm gonna replace them with something in the spring, maybe more strawberries, because the strawberries obviously held up super well under the blankets. We got a little bit of frost burn and maybe even some burn from being directly on the bulb there. But we even have flowering, maybe even pollinated fruit there. So the strawberries are doing well. So are the blackberries. And finally, my radishes have held up through the cold pretty well. This, these radishes here, you can see they're some of their leaves are starting to fade and turn a little bit yellow. I'm thinking because of lack of light and air circulation, but ultimately most of the stuff is not dead. And not dead is what I was going for with the use of these comforters and string lights. So again, not a very long video. I'm about to put my string lights back up on my fence and I'm very excited, looking forward to any future rainy warm weather that we're getting. So. Thanks again for watching Austin, Texas Gardening.